hello friends so in this root tutorial i will talk about the vector so vector is an array of objects uh, where you don't have to specify the size of the array so it's a dynamic array so you put the allocation dynamically so in this tutorial i will talk about how to sort a vector so let's say first you have to define the vector so you can define the vector in the root so you can use standard vector and you can define the type of the objects like for example you can choose the integer double or t vector whatever you want to choose then you can define the object and you can choose the vector and then you can push the ele elements inside the, the vector so right now i defined as a double so i i am pushing the elements as a double so so it will be inserted inside this vector as an element 0, 1, 2 and 3 and like that. So uh, I here print the input vector. Now I want to sort this vector. So for the sorting this particular function you can use to sort the vector elements. So there are two options one in in which case if you want to uh, sort in the decreasing order then you can use the greater than this particular function if you remove this then it will be uh, in the increasing order let's see how it works so let's first see we inserted this elements in this vector and then just run the uh, code let's run it root minus l sort and uh, vector so now you can see uh, i inserted the element 10 11 5 6 8 you can see here first 10 11 5 6 8 now after sorting uh, you can just see it's 11 and then 10 8 6 5 so it's in the decreasing order if we want opposite then what what you can do you just remove this then it will all again sort but in the uh, increasing order let's say so now you can see that now it has arranged the elements in the increasing order so this you can use if you want to sort an array of vectors so this particular code you can use now uh, this is for one dimension let's say one dimensional array if you have each element again a three vectors then i also created an example so instead of now double you can have a an element as a t vector 3 so your e, this is an array of t vector 3 so again i define a t vector here a t vector an array and the of t vector 3 so you have to push the elements like uh, in this as a t vector 3 so this particular you can use for uh, if you want to sort uh, the hits Monte Carlo points in uh, then this particular function you can use inside the root to sort the hits if you want to sort the hits with respect to y or with respect to z then this particular code can be used so i inserted the uh, many many let's say many hit many the vector 3 inside this uh, vector which I defined as a t vector 3. Now for the sorting you have to first define a function here uh, which will return a boolean this will compare so you can write any other name also here so you have to give the two vector t vector one, 3 1 and 2 objects of two vectors t vector 3 and then you have to define the comparison which elements you want to comparison so for example uh, now each element is a t vector 3 now I want to arrange this t vector 3 with respect to let's say by and uh, increasing order or decreasing order depends on this comparison so now you have to call this sort options my vector begin and this is always same now you have to put this comparison condition here for the uh, three, t vector 3 so let's say I put the first uh, by element with respect to y. This is x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate. So I put the condition on the y coordinate decreasing order. So let's see how it's uh, arranged. So let's see. Uh, so now you can see 
uh, it is in the increasing order of uh, uh, by so by you can see it's 515 it's uh, not in the range of uh, increasing order but if you see the sorting now you can see it's in the by is the uh, increasing order now if you want to arrange in the decreasing order then you can just flip the sign and then you can uh, now you can see it's arranged in the decreasing order of the by and if you want to do in the z you can simply replace uh, with the z let's say if you want to arrange in terms of z so then you can just see arrange in terms of uh, so now you can see in the in terms of z it's arranged uh, in the decreasing order of z so so you can use this particular uh, code for the sorting the t, t vector 3 this you can further extend if you want to extend the, let's say further adding more objects you can further do let's say in the end tuple uh, you can try to extend it but this is very useful if you want to arrange the hit Mont or monte carlo points uh, if you want to sort with respect to x position y position and z position so it can be useful i will put this uh, this code on the description so you can use in the root framework uh, or you can write in the also you can extend in the standard c plus plus also where you don't have the t vector 3 but you have the let's say uh, you have the tuple so you can use it okay thank you